Alrighty, shalom, shalom. Before I begin this lesson, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekwa, Kodash. Double honors to my elders and apostles of great millstone who taught me this truth. Salutations to the elect out there, scattered wherever you may be. May Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, bless you in your household, and may you continue to endure. Shalom to you, sincere brothers on the highways and byways, week in and week out, presenting your bodies as a living sacrifice for this truth and for the names of Yahweh Bahashem and Yahweh Shai. Shalom. Shalom to you, believers out there who do believe in the names of Yahweh Bahashem and Yahweh Shai, and you're taking heed in these last days. May Yahweh Bahashem and Yahweh Shai bless you in your household, and may you continue to endure Lord's will. Right. It is your brother Dabakia. All right, from the sons of Yasharala Camp GMS, GMS, sons of Yasharala, Colorado Springs, coming to you again with another lesson, all through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Shai. I pray that you're edified because it's always about edification. All right, today we're going to roll in the spirit, see where it takes us. Okay, feels good to be back, all right, more or less, we're trying to improve, right, and strive for the kingdom of Yahweh Hashem Shai to take place here on earth as it is in heaven. We pray to be part of that hopeful elect, all right? Today's lesson will be based in the book of John, okay, John the Baptist. All right, chapter 15, excuse me, chapter 16, uh, on down, verse one on down, just to see where spirit leads us, precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little and there a little, okay? And the context of this chapter is persecution, mind you. These words are in red, so they're the words of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, right? That's how you say, that's, that's how you pronounce the, the, uh, the name of the one who the world ignorantly calls Jebus Christos, okay? Jebus Christ, which is a false name and a false title, all right? It's an idol, okay? It's not going to save you, all right? What's going to save you is keeping these law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability and believing in the names of Yahweh Shemel Shai, especially if you're a so-called Negro, Latino, Native, or Native American. Right, got the incense burning. We're about to get into it. Got the music in the background. Here we go. Chap the book of John, chapter 16, verse 1 on down. All right, persecution. Because we were going into these times. All right. Esau Edom has all type of laws going into place about, hey, if you say the wrong thing on social media, that's your ass and you're getting counsel. And also, guess what? You can face prison time. What does that sound like, right? Famine of the word. Because we're getting closer and closer to that day where Esau Edom wants to persecute the prophets because they know who we are. Beginning with our elders and apostles of great millstone and bishops on down. Right? Let me see something about to change the song. Give me a second. Find that. Something better than that. It's time to help people customize. Excel Energy understands that solar oh. power is more than just renewable. These energy. damn ads. It energizes our homes, illuminates our nights, and fuels our passions. Let's harness the sun's energy together. Trails Tacos Pork Al Pastor. Get two street tacos for four ninety nine. That's more no time, no better, Max. All right. 
Hey, let's get into it. Nonetheless, our John chapter 16 and verse 1. These things have I spoken unto you that you should not be offended. Okay, Yahweh Shai is talking. All right, he's talking to uh, the apostles and more or less to, to us, to, uh, to the believers out there, all right, who believe in his name. Because we know that Esau Edom, all right, is going to come down with great wrath. And we know that two thirds of the nation of Israel wants to put the prophets to death simply because of our testimony and what we stand for. These things have I spoken unto you that you should not be offended, all right? Concerns all the warnings of the coming persecution. We know the persecution is on the horizon, all right? And we move swiftly, okay? We move with, with that knowledge, that wisdom, and that understanding to the best of our ability. Verse 2, they shall put you out of the synagogues, right? which refers to that which man was, has devised, all right? They shall put you out of the synagogues, referring to, um, you know, these churches, okay? Uh, these different secular religions that try to come against the Israelites and make it seem like what we're talking about or going into is a fallacy, right? And not believable in which we can prove all things. We can prove we are the Israelites in which we have, all right? Beginning with the elders and apostles of great Muslim on, on down, all right? Esau Edom knows who we are. We know who you are, you damn devils, all right? The self-proclaimed white man. You're not white. You're a different shade of red. And we can't stress this enough. Yes, the time comes that whosoever kills you will think that he does God's service or power's service. All right? You, the two-thirds out there of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans want to put to death, want to, want to put the prophets to death, right? Because of our testimony and what we stand for and our values and our morals and our duty and integrity, we don't mess with y'all. So that's why, look, all this black culture shit, it's dead and it's done, all right? Yahweh Shemashah has raised up the true men with a holy gospel to tear down the strongholds of everything that you see taking place here on earth, all right? The heathen is mad. The Negro man is mad. The Native American man is mad. Latino man is mad. Especially if you're a two-third, right? Prophets, the prophets are everywhere on the highways and byways, on the four ends of the earth. You drive past them, all right? There's no excuse. We are in a time of repentance. And if you're not repenting, it's a horrible thing to not do, right? Continue on. They shall put you out of the synagogues. Yes, the time comes that whosoever kills you will think that he does power service. All right, that's a precept for the book of First Timothy chapter 4 and verse 1. Verse 3. And these things will they do unto you in one way or another because they have not known the Father nor me, right? If you if you're if you're scoffing two thirds, how about you don't know you how about you shot, and they don't know you, right? That's why we always say we are blessed to have this knowledge because this is the highest knowledge on earth, and there's no reason for any of us to be taking it for granted, right? How about you shot is judging the two thirds, and we pray to how about you since plagues, curses, etc to the two-thirds. Y'all have done nothing good. All right, now we're in election season. All these distractions. It's, it's crazy, it's madness out here. Turn it down a little bit, it's locked. Verse four. Okay, uh, John chapter 16 and verse 3 again. And these things will they do unto you in what? Because they have not known the Father nor me. But you niggas know Caesar Borgier. 
right? Buddha, Shiva, Horus, all this other shit, all this madness. Those are all idols. The Habashim Hashai are the true power. How works of this earth. And we don't even acknowledge those false gods. If you're worshiping any of that, may Habashim Hashai destroy you. John chapter 16 and verse 4, right? The Holy Spirit. Here we go. We're going to talk about the Holy Spirit. That's what the Spirit, <laughs> call I Habashim Hashai for that. The Spirit led me to talk about the Holy Spirit today. How beautiful is that? Call I Habashim Hashai for that. John chapter 16 and verse 4. But these things have I told you. All right, and these words are in red. This whole book is in red. Yahweh Shai is speaking. But these things have I told you that when the time shall come, you may remember that I told you of them. All right, Yahweh Shai Ben told us about the two thirds. Okay, about being hated for teaching this information. This is nothing new. Our Lord and Savior been prophesied this. So these are things to anticipate and to expect, rather. Okay? Let me see. All right, uh, John 16 and verse four again. But these things have I told you that when the time shall come, you, re you may remember that I told you of them. Demonic ass niggas, demonic ass jakes. Yahweh Shai Ben warned us, right? If the world, it says right here, if the, Lord, if the world loves us, something is wrong with our testimony. Continuing on. And these things have I said unto you at the beginning. All right. Referring to the elect. Because Yahweh Shai created the elect. Right? And that's heavy meat. Right? And that proves that reincarnation is biblical. Okay? Because Yahweh Shai was the first spirit ever created. All right? Because I was with you. All right. Call away Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai for that. Verse 5. But now I go my way to him who sent me. And he was referring to his persecution, to his actual death. All right. The crucifixion. Okay. Back to the Father in heaven. So Yahweh Shai was talking. He was referring to his Father in heaven. Returning back to the Father. Right. Yahweh. Continuing on. And none of you <coughs> ask me, where do you go? All right, it says right here, they are not asking now simply because it seems they are beginning to understand what he is saying, at least about leaving. So they perceived that Yahweh Shah was basically talking about giving up the ghost. Verse 6 But because I have said these things unto you, sorrow has filled your heart. We get a prophet from morning, from within, in the inside. Because hey, imagine seeing Yahweh Shai, you know, give up the ghost, the son of the son of Yahweh. Heavy stuff. Who was a self? Who was a so-called black man? Right. That's who Yahweh Shai was, and that's who Yahweh is. Right. They're both so-called black men. We're not black, you damn devils. We're different shades of brown. Hey, the truth is out. Okay, it's over for you Edomites. It's over for you heathens. Hey, and fuck you two thirds. We want, we don't want nothing to do with you. We don't want any dealings to do with you. Verse six again, but because I have said these things unto you, sorrow has filled your heart. 
They somewhat understood him going back to the Father, but because, but still they didn't understand the coming resurrection. So they didn't know that he was going to come back, right, three days later. <laughs> Rise from the dead. The one of y'all should be shot for that. Yeah. I love this gospel. I love this truth. John chapter 16 and verse 7. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is expedient for you that I go away. All right, Yahushua had to get persecuted. He had to get crucified. And he had to get betrayed by his own people. For prophecy to be fulfilled. All right? So to you niggas out there who don't believe in Yahweh Shai, may Yahweh Shai destroy you. All right? This, this is actual proof. Right? All right. Nonetheless, if you don't have this information, it's because Yahweh Shem Hashem doesn't want you to have this information. It's not rocket science. This is truly a gift from the powers above and the powers on high. All right. Um. Here we are. What Yahweh Shem Hashem? All right, uh, John chapter 16 and verse 7 again. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. All right. The elders and apostles and the bishops, they tell us the truth. And we tell you believers out there the truth. All right. That the self-proclaimed white man, right, Esau Edom, is going into hardcore slavery, right, via those fields, right, whips, tobacco, <laughs> chains on necks, Chains on the wrist, chains on feet, as well as you heathens who persecuted the children of Israel, all right, and put us into hardcore captivity, all right, because according to Bible prophecy, this Edomite captivity is our seventh captivity, right, and we all know, or at least we should know, that number seven in the Bible, and according to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, means completion. All right? So Yahweh Shai, willing, this is the completion of the children of Israel's captivity. We want all curses, uh, plagues, destruction to come to you heathens constantly over and over again. We want you to feel the same pain that Jacob the so 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 called uh, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans felt, but worse, right? Very very biblical times, ladies and gentlemen. All we can do is endure, pray, continue to do the right thing. Let's get it again. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth: it is expedient for you that I go away. Here it is: the mission and ministry of the Holy Spirit to the body of Hamashiach dependent upon the return of Hamashiach to the Father. Yahweh Shai had to return to Yahweh for our sake, for the elect's sake. That's true love, not these fabricate, fabricated stories and movies and television and. Sensationalism that this world gives you. That Disney love affair, that Disney fairy tale, that's, that's false, it's fake. Not real. Yahweh Shai, what does he say? If you love me, keep my commandments. Simple. True love is keeping the commandments to the best of your ability. All right? Let's get it. For if I go not away, the comforter, who's the comforter? The Holy Spirit is the comforter. Right? That's why it's so essential to pray. See how about Shem Yahushai? By Shem Rekwa Kodash in the name of the Holy Spirit. 
Right, that's the comfort. Right, people have therapists, teachers, podcasts, etc. that they listen to. When essentially they don't even know that the comforter is right here in these scriptures. The word ka chodash in the Hebrew tongue. That is the true comforter. Not drugs, alcohol, any of that. Having this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding is the true comforter. And if Yahweh Shai had to return to the Father to send the comforter, if you can perceive that. Call it how much you measure. Salaki, Salaki. All right, we're back. Hey, if I get a strike, so be it. <laughs> I'll just redo this lesson. Mm, I hope I don't, though, to be honest. Anyway, right here. All right, well, let's get that final part of verse 7 again. For if I go not away, if Yahweh didn't go to go away, the Comforter will not come unto you. All right, continuing on. And the Comforter is right here. That the Holy Spirit, the Comforter is the Holy Spirit, right? Yahweh Shai is the Savior of men, and the Holy Spirit is the power of the church. The Holy Spirit is the power of the church. Right? But if I depart, I will send him unto you. So clearly the Holy Spirit is a masculine energy. Yahweh Shai refers to the Holy Spirit as him more than a few occasions throughout this chapter. Right? Because you got niggas out there who think the Holy Spirit is a she, right? A female energy. And that's not even... It's not even what it is. It's a fallacy. It's a false doctrine, to be honest. But that's neither here or there. Because that's another topic for another day. But let's get it. Nevertheless, oh, right here. In verse 8, John chapter 16, verse 8. And when he, right, the Holy Spirit is come, he, he will repro reprove, convict, right? We, 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 we will prove you brothers out there. We will prove each other to the best of our ability. Hey, if you see your brother going off, you have to reprove him, right? If I'm going off, reprove me. If you're going off, I have to reprove you. That's true love, right? Reprove, convict the world of sin, all right? And that's what the prophets are doing on highways and byways. And the brothers, right? Okay, and, and ourselves, when we can, right? We're, we're, we're proving the world of its wickedness. Telling the world that Yahabash Meshai does have a plan to destroy this wicked society, right? To destroy you moles out of the land, right? To wipe away this earth, thermonuclear, hey, bombs. Well, because essentially that's just what, what the Bible is going into, right? Hey. It's over for you heathens. We now have this true knowledge, wisdom, and understanding about who we are as people, right? Who we are as a whole. Okay, this beautiful heritage that we possess. All right? This is a nice and extremely amazing legacy to be a part of. Okay? To come out of the loins. All right, look that word up loins of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, right? We pray that we woke up, or we, yeah, we woke up to something, and we woke up to this. Call it how much we have for But it's over for you niggas, it's over for you two-thirds, over for you Edomites, it's over for you heathens. Thus saith how much you have for And when he is come, he will, will prove, convict the world of sin, the supreme sin of rejecting Hamashiach. That's the supreme sin, denying the son. 
It's the supreme sin because you don't have the knowledge with the understanding. You're just a bug out to deny the sun. Right? And of righteousness, and uh, so right here, and when he, the Holy Spirit has come, he will reprove the world of sin, right? And of righteousness, and of judgment, all right? Verse 9, of sin, because they believe not on me. If you don't believe on Yahweh Shai, you're in sin. And you're going to be destroyed. That's just what it's coming down to. We are in a time of heavy judgment on earth. If you can receive that. I'm saying because they believe not on me. All right, verse 10. John 16 and verse 10. Of righteousness because I go to my father. All right. And you will see me no more. Meaning Yahweh Shai's work was finished. All right. Continuing on. Verse 11. Of judgment because the prince of this world is judged. We all know that the prince of this world is Esau Edom. The self-proclaimed white man. Right. Who puts you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans into hardcore slavery. Via the sub-Saharan trade, slave trade, right? And then the transatlantic slave trade, as well as the uh, so-called Latino and Gadi Native American slave trade via Christopher Columbus, who did read the book of Second Address, in fact, and knew that you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans were the Israelites and still took you into slavery. Continue it on. No judgment because the prince of this world is judged. All right, it says right here, Satan, the spiritual demon, Satan was completely defeated at Calvary and thereby judged as eternally condemned. And who follow all who follow him will suffer his fate, the lake of fire. That is the fate of the Edomites. You self proclaim white people, your, your fate is supreme fire. Right via World War III, because it's gonna be destroyed by hella nations who are on Earth today. All right, and you're gonna be betrayed by your allies. All right, NATO, the EU, you name it, and that's all Bible prophecy. Call on Yahweh Shah for that, because you devils, time is up. Right. You're going to come down with great wrath. The scriptures say you're going to move in. The enemy shall move in like a great flood to try to take down the men of the Lord. The Lord, Yahweh, we are willing. We receive that spiritual power. But it's also mentioned in the scriptures. The elect, that is. Of judgment because the prince of this world is judged, all right? Satan was completely defeated at Calvary and thereby judged as eternally condemned. All who follow him will suffer his fate, which is the lake of fire, and that fate will be forever and ever, all right? The lake of fire, hey, it's gonna, Babylon's gonna be a, a sign to the world, all right? Babylon the Great, aka America, is gonna be a sign to the world of how wicked this place was and how evil it because this place is going to just be filled with ashes, wild and strange birds, and just smoke everywhere. That's proceeding to the book of Isaiah. I believe around 60, 61, 62-ish. Right, going into the judgment of this place via those nukes. Call on out by Shema Shah for that too. Right, and that's going to pursuing that the lake of fire will be forever and ever. That's in the book of Revelation, chapter 20, verses 12 through 15. Precept upon precept, right? John chapter 16 and verse 12. I have yet many things to say unto you. Alright. Pertain to entirety, pertain to the entirety of the new covenant that will be given to the apostle Paul. 
more proof that the Apostle Paul has the truth, more proof that Yahweh Shema Shai was dealing with the Apostle Paul. He wrote the majority of the books in the New Testament. No, he's not higher than Yahweh Shai, but the Apostle Paul was there. All right, he was the one who put in that work for Yahweh Shai. And ask yourself this question, are you putting in work for Yahweh Shai or are you being a scoffer, a damn demon? Okay? A lazy ass dude. Just, we can all contribute some way, some, some how, some shape, some form in this truth, brothers out there. You are king. It's time to get involved. Right? It's time to get involved. Um. John chapter 16 and verse 12. I have yet many things to say unto you, but you cannot bear them now. Give me a second. Hi. Work. 